Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Wesley. All right. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> good evening, fam. Good evening. Good afternoon. I'm so tired. But uh, I want to say, uh, Oku. Amen. That's all I'm going to say. Cause, uh, I'm, all this is new to me. Uh, again, my name is Wesley Barney. I'm from New York City, uh, retired fireman uh, for 25 years. And uh, I have three grown boys, all doing well, and three grandchildren and one in the oven. So yeah, I'm happy about my uh, sons. That's my motivation, my kids. Yeah. Well, they're adult males now. Uh, what influenced me um, to come to Ghana, Africa? I had a friend that worked with me at the fire department. He was from Ghana, but he was a very quiet man. He would never tell me nothing about Ghana or his background. So, you know, I really didn't have much uh, thought about Africa outside of a young kid seeing Tarzan. And that was just a serious brainwashing there. Yeah. Uh, however, after seeing the movie um, that just came out, oh God, I got a Black brain Panther. Here. Black Panther. Yeah. I said, wow, you know, I got to go to Africa. You know, I got to go to Africa. So I made it my point, uh, looked online, looked at various t uh, tour guides. Yeah. And then uh, I seen his brother from Atlanta and he said he's from New York. So I said, all right, there's a little connection here. So I did my research, and then uh, when I seen the price, I said, what? It was quite expensive, but uh, you know, I made the effort because I kind of joined late and uh, contacted my mom, and he was good about getting back with me, uh, but I was literally like sending $4,000 through the internet. I'm like, what, $4,000? So we talked, and I sent him half, and then was able to uh, come up with the other rest. And uh, so I'm here. And then I, you know, I'm excited about telling my sons because they're pretty they're professionals uh -huh. that you know we have to you know connect with Africa, and uh, it's just an overwhelming experience for me, you know, because I come from like a different background mm -hmm. uh, from most of you folks here. Uh, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I love talking to the people, you know, and uh, I'm still taking a lot in. So some of it is overwhelming to me, you know. Listen, to some of you guys with you know professions and stuff like that, because I come from you know I come from like hard uh -huh. times where mother wasn't there, father was, my grandmother raised me. Uh -huh. However, she was from Portugal. Ooh, wow. Good, tell us that. And uh, I love that woman. You know, the, my best decision my mother made was to give me to her grandmother. Cause wow. she had me at a young age. Wow. And uh, my grandmother was a lovely lady. Although people in the neighborhood didn't understand her, but she spoke four languages. And uh, that was my heart. That was my heart. I get a little touched when I talk about her. But she raised me to be a good young man and raise my family, so uh, I, I give shout out to my grandmother, you know, may she rest in peace. Yeah. Um, so that's basically, I'm just a simple guy, just willing to learn and have fun, and you know, I'm not perfect, you know, I made a lot of mistakes. I still got a good connection with my ex-wife, and uh, she texted me today, she said, how's Donna? I said, it's hard to explain, but you gotta come here. Right. It's hard to explain, but yes. you gotta come here. So that's it. I'm glad I'm up now. So I, to talk. <laughs> I got one question. I mean, we got questions. Don't leave yeah. yeah. no 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 Really, <laughs> you are just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And you're touching my heart when you spoke about your grandmother. And we're all different, is what I'm saying. But I had a, I had a time to talk to Wesley. I talked to most of you. But I'm just really glad to get to know you a little bit better as the whole group. You're so valuable to us. And I really appreciate your firefighting experience in New York City. My question is related to that. What inspired you to be, I guess, a firefighter? And you, you served 25 years. I think it's very dangerous. My sister says she liked working with fire. Did you like working with fire? <laughs> not at all, not at all, not at all. Talk to us a little about uh, being a firefighter, uh, your main duty is to go in there and save lives. And that requires you to put your life on the line as well. Uh, I did fall through a roof, uh, tore my right uh, patella tendon, so, but it was a good career. I, I love helping people, uh, seen a lot of deaths, witnessed 9-11, uh, and I go through therapy through 9-11. I can't really talk about it because I get a little choked up. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the reason why I became a fireman, because I needed a job. So, <laughs> I had three kids, and I, I needed a job. I took the civil service test. I scored high on it, and then they called me. That I, you know, went through probation, the academy, 
and then that was basically it. But I was looking for a job, so I I don't really have much of a college background. But I, but I come from a family. My grandmother, grandfather, they they had a good work ethic, and uh, so you know I didn't go to college or any of that stuff. But I had always always a man want to work. And so that, that was basically it. Nothing fancy. Just keep it simple. Thank me. you. That's real. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. All right. Don't call me. Do we have